Just over a month into a strike, Metro says it has reached a tentative deal with the union representing thousands of employees at its grocery stores across the GTA. Our Marianne Demain joins us live now with the details. Marianne, the, the deal still has to be ratified, but Metro is calling it fair and equitable. That's right, and the details of the tentative agreement, Tracy, have not yet been released, but you can see behind me that the workers do remain on the picket lines. You can see the sign, Strike Day 33. They ha are here as they have been since the end of July. But again, that tentative deal was released and confirmed this morning from both Metro and Unifor. And as you mentioned, it still does have to be ratified by the members. And it was at the end of July when 3,700 striking workers walked off the job. Those are frontline workers from Metro. They went straight to the picket lines calling for better work and better pay. Unifor also said that its workers and unionized members were hoping to get back that hero pay that they had during the pandemic, which is $2 an hour. Now, this tentative deal was reached one day after both sides returned to the bargaining table. On that same day, that's when a judge granted a temporary injunction for Metro to restrict picketing workers from picketing outside of distribution centers. Metro saying that it prevented fresh produce and other goods from getting out of the distribution center and into their various locations across the province. So what is next? Well, according to the national president of Unifor, she has thanked the uh, workers as well as the bargaining team, also thanked customers for their support and patience over this time. But again, you can see Unifor workers remain here outside of 27 metro locations like this one here at Don Mills and Lawrence, waving their flags. They've still got that counter strike day 33 and that uh, next step for them is to ratify this temporary or rather uh, tentative agreement. Excuse me. That's happening tomorrow at noon. I'll send it back to you. All right, Marianne Demain reporting live. Thanks for that update.